Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. I have cleared out all of the biter bases up on this peninsula and it is actually a peninsula so there is no land bridge anywhere. So we have this entire area cleaned up and locked off for ourselves now. All we need to do is put a wall here and a wall I guess across here or something and we have this entire area to build on as our base. The only problem we have is there is absolutely no ore anywhere on this penin peninsula. There is a bit of stone and the, the oil up there, which we desperately need. And that's it. So, yeah, it's not really uh, an ore rich area, but we can make outposts and go get ore over here, and there's some down there. We have quite a bit of iron up there, though, so we're fine on iron for now. So we have copper, we have some stone there. We have this patch of uranium, which we are going to put to use as well. We are going to set up the nuclear power. So, yeah, but it's really nice to have this area cleared out and ready to build on. So we could actually tear down the walls uh, of turrets all the way here, which is fantastic. But today, uh, well, before we get into today, I have set up a grid here where we have, uh, what are they called, roboports in, in a grid. So that is going to be the grid that we'll have all over the base. Uh, the base is going to change completely now that we have all this space and and so on. So we are going to change the base up quite a bit. We are we're, we're going to I think we're going to modular make modular productions. So we'll have maybe smelting here and power up here, and then we'll have different production areas for each of the zones, and we'll go uh, rail world with this because we're going to need rails anyway, right? But we'll, we'll have uh, this pattern of uh, roboports all over the place to help us uh, build and so on, so we don't have to do it ourselves. So that is really nice. And so this was just uh, to demonstrate. Uh, for now, we will get into that. But before we do that, our research has completely stopped and that is because we are out of stone. So we have a stone patch uh, right there, a nice big one, 4.7 million. And we're going to hook that up today and get stone produced. So let's do that. And we do have, I think we do have production of miners here somewhere, maybe, so don't we? As we do over at the other uh, mini mall that we built. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we, we have, but that's fine. So let's grab some, uh, where are they? Some robo parts. Let's just grab all 20 of them and set up a robo port up here so we don't have to build all this ourselves. We'll have our robots do it for us. So we'll just uh, stick it there, I think, and pick a large power pole there. All right. Good, good. So what we want to do, first of all, I want to check that I actually have the uh, the mini mall connected to the logistics network or the robot robot network, because of course. We are producing the miners right there. And we might as well use that to our advantage. So we'll change that to a passive provider chest. And why is it blinking like that? I have no idea. Is it because it's outside the... Yeah, it is. So let's a robo port up here all of this is temporary we just want to get it in like that and power it up like so all right so 
let's tell our robots to build some miners for us. It's so nice that we can tear all of this down uh, when we want to. Absolutely awesome. So let's see. Miners, miners, miners. We have some there. We'll just do the first bit ourselves and then we'll put the robo network to good use. So let's see. This is the highest point. So I'm going to go down three, one, two, three, something like that. Oops. Something like that. And we'll stick some power poles in. And stick some belt in. There we go, and then we will copy this and paste it, so like that, and that, that, this is going to work out nicely. All right. Ah, we're missing a little bit of okay so and there we go almost done Let's get it there and there. All right. And all of this is being built. We just need to put in the bit of built that we forgot. Oh, well. there we go. And I absolutely do not want that built. But this is going to give us a good amount of stone and then we just need to hook it up so how are we going to do that actually we could tear out all of this let's do that so deconstruction planner and just tear that out Very good. Everything is being picked up. Beautiful. And it's being set down here to the storage chests. Very nice. And we have some more coming in there, but they need power now. So, yeah. Very good. All right. I love it. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Once they get all of this out of the way up all of the magazines as well and let's uh, do like that so we don't get more magazines on here don't want that all right so we have how many lanes one two three four five okay I think we'll turn it into one lane of stone we don't need two lanes really for anything. Oops, don't want that there. Are the storage chests full? That can't be. Seems like it. That's insane. Okay, don't care. So let's 
put one of these here. And we'll put another one there. Why are they just hanging around there? Hm, never mind. All right. And we need a litter there and there. And then we just need it going down to our stone processing area, which will be moved, but for now we just need it going because we definitely need to have our uh, why is this outside construction area? No, it isn't. We're out of power. Completely out of power. Why is that? Um, see, if we stick one of these there. Why are we completely out of power? I don't get it. That is going crazy on the bed. The satisfaction only two. What? What the hell happened? We don't have our coal power connected to this. Okay. Well, we can fix that problem. Pretty soon. I don't get that though. Okay, never mind. We'll fix it. Let's grab all of those. And we'll run. We need to run this that way anyway, so... We might as well pull the... Oh, here we go. They're charging up. We might as well pull the belt along, right? So, let's just do that. Uh, let's see. I think I'll run it down. What is going on with you, cat? And come down here. And under and under and under. <laughs> and then we can keep going. I think I'll actually we need to have two lanes of this iron going at some point, so let's just run it here. And we're getting there. See, we have very, very little stone bricks coming in because we're basically out of stone. There, and there. That should help. All of these are done, pretty much. We actually lose quite a bit of stone already. That's fine, we have more coming in now. There we go. And there comes the stone. And production will pick up again. But we need to increase our production of stone for sure. And we will. But first I want to make sure that we connect up the... Steam generators to, our, to the rest of the power grids. We do have coal coming in, right? Yeah, we have plenty of coal. And they are working. So here, 
that is only connected to it's not connected to the rest of the base don't really get that because it comes up here it comes connects to there that connects and then connects up here ah let's do that and let's see all right that's much better much better good 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 all right let's clean this up don't need this here anymore And now the fun is going to really start because now we can build the base that we want. We shouldn't really have power issues anymore and everything should be fine. Of course we need a lot more power eventually, but for now we're, we're in a good place. We are in a good place. So that's cleaned up and let's see do we have any furnaces we do but it's the electric ones and I don't think our power situation is that good that we can use electric ones yet we need a lot more solar or uh, nuclear for that so I think getting our power completely under control is going to be the project for the next video so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i'll see you next time